How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be breaking down the minor league rosters that they've kind of implemented into MLB The Show 20 as well as Road to the Show features and franchise features that are new in the game. So first thing we're going to talk about is the minor league rosters. I'm going to be quickly summarizing the stream that took place today over on Twitch on Sony San Diego Studios live stream. So basically we will have real rosters from the minor leagues. About 1,500 players will be added. We see a couple guys here, Nick Madrigal. Uh, we see Michael Kopech, a couple guys that are uh, big name players. Daniel Palka, who's had some time in the majors, I believe, and a couple guys that are very promising and will also bring a more marketable value to Major League Baseball in terms of starting up with this uh, with these minor league rosters, playing with these guys in franchise or with them in road to the show and against them as well. I think that this is great for baseball in general. I would like to see Major League Baseball go with more of an approach like this, marketing some of the younger players in the game. Here's another screenshot, Andrew Vaughn, the number one overall pick. Then we're also taking a look at a variety of teams here. We see Joe Adele. There will be another Joe Adele screenshot in this video, something to keep in mind. But I'm going to kind of be uh, moving along here pretty quickly because there are a lot of things that's going to be brand new into the game. A lot of similarities as well. But uh, basically the rosters is something that they've been trying to do since 2010. It's taken them about 10 years to go ahead and implement it in the game. They worked with Ride and Rosters on this, so that's really nice. If you're following MLB The Show on Twitter, then you might have seen some of these on some of the uh, teaser tweets that they released prior to the stream. Uh, another one is Mackenzie Gore. This starting pitcher is a lefty, one of my uh, guys I'm looking out for to come up in the league. I am a big fan of left-handed pitchers, as I was one myself, uh, as well as you know some other guys that are that will be implemented on some of these teams. But I wanted to focus on some of these bigger name players, some of the guys that they showed during the stream. I think that this uh, team wheel is pretty cool. I'm pretty sure we had this in previous years, but I think it's uh, pretty nice to have this visual. You can kind of go through teams really quickly rather than pressing R1 or L1. Uh, let me know if this has already been in the game. I'm not the a person that really dives too much into franchise or road to the show, but I used to play these types of modes a lot when I was first playing MLB The Show in 2012, 2013, things like that. Anyway, I'm going to focus on some franchise things here. This is at the start of a franchise. You will be able to, of course, use those rosters with the minor leaguers attached in them. But at the same time, there are a few other additions that they've implemented. I mean, you can have two-way players. You can have a specific amount of pitchers in the regular season. You can have uh, more pitchers in the offseason on your team. There is more, uh, I guess... There are more abilities that you can do with your players in franchise mode. I think that this is awesome. As well as uh, a team customization, you can rename the team. You can uh, relocate them as well to a different city. You can do this as soon as you start off in franchise before the season even starts. You can uh, already build up a team as well so you can pretty much create your own team trade a bunch of guys and then go ahead and visit this screen right here of course you know you can get some free agents you can uh, do a couple different things on this screen you see it says john's exclusive free agents this is a situation where the developers in the dev kit have gone ahead and created their own team with certain players and this is something that you can import uh, if you want to save that team and use them again, you know, maybe make a different, uh, a couple different transactions, trade a few players away, and then see how that team would simulate through. Or if you'd like to play all the games, of course, that is also an option. But it's looking like franchise, road to the show, and with these roster updates are going to be uh, heavily improved upcoming here in MLB The Show 20. I think this is amazing. Uh, all these things that they've added are kind of... Uh, improvements on some other things that they've tried to implement into the game as well. I think that this is a step in the right direction for people that play these types of modes. And I, I might consider, you know, d getting myself involved with some of these new modes as well. I think it will be able to uh, allow for some, you know, dip a variety of content, uh, content differential between, you know, creators and things like that. Some people like to play against the computer more than they like to play online in Diamond Dynasty. But also some of these things that I'm going to be talking about in this video 
will also relate to Diamond Dynasty. They will be implemented in that when we get into uh, creative players, equipments, things like that. You can actually unlock equipment in game. But before I get into that, I wanted to focus on this R1 screenshot that's right directly above my head with the Diamondbacks. You can import your team uh, right here. So it will actually replace the team currently like the Diamondbacks and we'll have a situation where they've replaced a uh, team with the Philly John. So I think that this is pretty cool. Uh, you also have the same team budget. You have the minor league affiliates as well. I think that this is going to be great. Uh, a lot of customization. You could actually create an entirely an entire new league of your own pretty much with 30 customizable teams and you can change the players on those teams. It just allows you to have an experience that is unique and something that you can you can control a little bit. So I think that this is awesome. I, I mean, I can't say that enough. I know that the, the, the developers are working really hard on some of these brand new features into the game. I know this stuff took a lot of time and it was, you know, they had to jump through hoops in order to get these minor league players in the game as well. It's uh, taken them quite some time. So I'm glad that they were able to do so. I have to tip my cap to the developers. They've worked extremely hard on this game and it's noticeable. Uh, here, I'm gonna go ahead and hide my face cam so you can see all the brand new equipment, uh, I guess, companies that we have in the game. We have Axe, Jordan, Victus, and SSK. Of course, we had all the other ones already in the game, but that's something that is really nice because you wanna have equipment and you know brands that are, that MLB players are using, you want to have that realistic look in the game. I think, you know, with the graphics keep increasing over time, the equipment is going to look much better. It's going to look more real. And they're also, they also said that the minor league players that they've released into the game are going to have some of their own equipment with some of their brands that they actually use in real baseball. So that's something really cool to keep in mind. This is something that will be implemented in Diamond Dynasty as well because we see a lot of equipment based items for that for your creative player you can also use them on your road to the show player of course but this is a situation where we start to get into road to the show you can see that this guy has five friends you can see his personality you can see a variety of tiers with equipped perks and you can kind of see how much progress you're making in in this road to the show mode i think that this is really cool it's a very similar screenshot to what we've already had in the game but it does uh it has improvements as well as i'm sure it will be a little bit different once you actually get the, your hands on the controller and you're able to maneuver throughout these menus but i think that this is awesome the the locker room look is something that i liked having in last year's game even though i didn't really get into road to the show too much i did create a player when the servers were down things like that i, I like to dive into it just to try a few things out this next screenshot is what's called a boosted at bat this is a situation where one of this player johnny cupcakes one of his uh friends is on base at this time you can see that depicted in the top left where it says you know that they're shaking hands you can also see the power upgrade uh when he steps into the box for this boosted at bat i think that this is really awesome something that uh isn't hasn't been included in years past as well as it's something that uh is unique i mean certain players have uh, really good friendships in Major League Baseball it helps them uh, play a little bit better. So it is somewhat realistic, but at the same time, it's all attribute based. So you will get that uh, increased attributes. I think that this is really cool to add. This next screenshot is actually the same at bat. So not only is it a boosted at bat, but it's also a dynamic challenge. It says snowball. So that's the type of challenge. If you get a hit, a single or better, you get an increased boost in contact. And if you hit a double or better, you get power. I'm guessing if you, you know, hit a home run, you'll get both as it is a double or better and a single or better. I'm not quite sure on that, but that would be how I am understanding this screenshot and kind of the information that they gave out. So I wanted to quickly focus on some more of these uh, boss challenges or these dynamic challenges. This is a boss battle. And if you end up making solid contact for a base hit, you not only unlock an equipment item that's a choice pack for your creative player or your road to the show player, but you also get that, it looks like a two times boost for contact. And if you hit a home run, it looks like it increases by three times the amount as well as both of the item rewards. So this is something that I might wanna do early on in the game cycle, simply to be able to get some pretty good equipment 
on my creative player or to try and build my stubs up by selling those equipment items if you're able to pack a diamond equipment item sometimes they go for quite a few stubs at the beginning of the game cycle just something that i'm thinking about as i am talking about this as i was watching the stream as well this next screenshot is the first legend that they revealed for diamond dynasty as well as a part of the legend teams in play now and practice mode things like that but brian roberts the second baseman who I'm, i believe had a head injury a, a he had a history of concussions things like that that kind of helped him get or it kind of uh hurt his chances on making a comeback into the into Major League Baseball. But this guy was an incredible player, switch hitting second baseman, I believe. And also probably, yeah, they mentioned it, the best Orioles second baseman of all time. So they mentioned, you know, putting a team together of Cal Ripken Jr., uh, Brooks Robinson, this Brian Roberts and Eddie Murray, just increased uh, chances for team builds as well. The next legend is John Olerud. This is someone that I have not really heard about too much but that's also because he's a part of the Blue Jays. He's a 90s, 2000s player. And that's right around the, you know, when I started watching baseball, I wasn't really too in depth with all the, the great players at that time. I mainly focused on watching the Tigers, even though they weren't that great. I, that was my favorite team. I watched the Tigers and the D-backs. So I'm not really too familiar with this player. I'll have to look him up more in depth, but that's why I like uh, these, this Diamond Dynasty mode with all these legends, you get to learn more about the game. And I obviously don't know all the players, so there's going to be a handful that are released into the game that I'm not too familiar with, but I would like to try this card out. They mentioned he almost had a 400 ba uh, on base percentage for his career, which is really insane. They also said that he didn't, he then never played in the minor leagues, he only went straight to the majors, which is unheard of in this day and age, especially. But uh, the next thing I wanted to kind of talk about are prospect cards. This is probably something I'm most excited about for the launch of MLB The Show 20 because they did say that these cards will be available at launch. This is a prospect version of Joe Adele. It's probably going to be, you know, a nerfed type of finest version of the card. If you've never played MLB The Show, uh, players that have amazing years at the end of the year, they give them a boosted version. And last year we had uh, one finest player from each of the 30 teams. They also mentioned that we we're going to have one prospect player, maybe two, but at least one for each of the 30 teams for, ranging from gold to diamond. Some players that are higher rated prospects will be diamonds, of course. And then some players that still have a pretty high ceiling, but not as much potential or not projected to have as much of an impact on their team. They might be at the gold tier, but this is still really awesome to see. It's going to... It's going to include a lot more younger players, a lot of prospects right in there with live series players at launch. I think this is amazing that MLB The Show 20 had this idea. The developers came up with this idea and that this is going to be in the game. This next one is Adley Rutschman. I hopefully, I'm hopefully I'm saying that name right, but this will be a kind of a, a future stars, a prospect catcher for the Orioles. So this was kind of uh, leaked out a little bit before the stream. I'm not quite sure if they meant to do that, but it is what it is. Now they revealed it, and I think this is incredible in terms of content at launch for these games. Last year we had the special edition diamonds were the main content alongside live series players and battle royale rewards. I'm really excited for the content in Diamond Dynasty. Already the game's still a month away, but I'm getting pumped up just watching some of these streams. Something to keep in mind though, there will be a couple other streams coming up. Uh, we had the perfect, perfect stream. We just had this one right now, which was focusing on uh, the players, you know, the, the minor leaguers, road to the show and franchise. The next stream will be, uh, I believe, 2.20. So next, next Tuesday, 3 p.m. same time, we're going to talk about best players at each position and some ratings preview. So that's going to be really nice to see some of the attributes on some of these players. But just to keep something in mind, you know, there are going to be a lot of live streams left. If you missed this one, it's all good. I'm going to try and summarize as many of these streams as I possibly can. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. I'm going to be uploading a lot of MLB The Show 20 content. So make sure to stay active with all my social medias as well. But uh, until next time, guys, I'm College Lefty, and hopefully you have a great day. Peace out.